the third numerical three lenses having power 2 2.5 and 1.7 diopters are kept touching in a row what is the total power of the lens combination so let us write down the given we know the power of the first lens we have considered it to be p1 that is 2 diopters let the power of the second lens be p2 2.5 diopters and the power of the third lens let it be p3 that is 1.7 diopters so total power of the lens combination will be given by the formula p is equal to p1 plus p2 plus p3 so we have to take the sum of the powers of all the three lenses so we will substitute the values and the total power of the combination of all the lenses is found to be 6.2 diopters coming to the fourth numerical an object kept 60 centimeters from a lens gives a virtual image 20 centimeters in front of the lens what is the focal length of the lens is it a converging lens or diverging lens so what is given to us is the object distance 60 centimeters using sign conventions it will be minus 60 centimeters image distance is given 20 centimeters but because it's a virtual image on the same side as the object and in front of the lens it will be minus 20 centimeters because here again you will measure the image distance from the optical center towards the left hand side of the x-axis therefore minus 20 focal length of lens we have to find out we will make use of lens formula 1 upon v minus 1 upon u is equal to 1 upon f substitute the values v is minus 20 u is minus 60 is equal to 1 upon f minus and minus will become plus so it becomes 1 upon minus 20 plus 1 upon 60 is equal to 1 upon f take the lcm comes out to be 60 lcm is always positive so 60 on the numerator we will have this is 1 upon minus 20 into 60 that is minus 3 and 1 upon 60 into 60 that gives you 1 so here you will have minus 3 plus 1 upon 60 is equal to 1 upon f minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2 upon 60 we reduce it to lowest term that we get 1 upon 30 so the focal length comes out to be minus 1 upon 30 we take the reciprocal f is equal to minus 30 centimeters now we have got the focal length to be minus 30 so since the focal length is negative it indicates that it's a diverging lens and a diverging lens is a concave lens so focal length for convex lens is positive but that of a concave lens is always negative so since the focal length is negative it, it is going to be a diverging lens or a concave lens so with this we come to the end of the lesson the question and answers the numericals have been discussed now you must read the lesson again and again solve the numericals and you must even go through the numericals that are given as solved problems and from monday we will be starting a new lesson thank you